What is good YouTube? It's your boy me and I'm back with another video. In today's video, this is gonna be a really special video, a new type of video that I that y'all haven't seen yet on my channel. But as a lot of y'all know, the Bears drafted Mitchell Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. So what I did in today's video, I downloaded this uh 2018 roster. I know it's not uh it's not very accurate at all. But it has a lot of, it has some players from uh, 2018 uh, on it. But it's, like I said, it's not the most accurate roster. But I took Patrick Mahomes and put him on the Bears. And I took Mitchell Trubisky and put him on the uh, on the Chiefs. And so we're going to sim a couple seasons and see what happens. As a lot of y'all know, in 2019, they had the double doink. It looked like they were going on another, uh, not another, but they are going on a uh, Super Bowl run. And so, yeah, so let me go to the Chiefs, show y'all what the Chiefs look like without Patrick Mahomes. Boom. Now, look at this. Now, this doesn't even look right through my eyes. Personally, Mitch on the Chiefs, and then we got Patty Mahomes on the Bears. And so, yeah, let's hop right into it. All right, y'all, for the first season, I decided to sim uh, midway through just so I can kind of see what they do in the first season. And like I said before, we will be simming through a couple of seasons. And, uh, salary cap and stuff on. I'll let CPU do all of that stuff. But, yeah, so let's look what they're doing. So, right now, they're number one in their uh, division right now at five and three. Uh, Browns are number one. Let me go see what the Chiefs are doing. Let me just, I know they're at the bottom. I can just scroll from right here. Oh, they're three and five. That's not the worst uh, through week eight right now. But, sheesh, let me go look at these stats right quick to see how much... Patrick Mahomes is doing uh, for the Bears. So he's third in passing yards right now. 2,000 yards on the season. We're only, uh, we're only on week eight, I think. Sheesh, uh, Josh Allen right now is going crazy. Matt Ryan at 2,000 yards. Like I already said, Pat, Patrick Mahomes, 16 passing TDs. Matt Ryan, 20 passing TDs. And like I said before, this is the 2018 roster, so they do have, you know what I'm saying, older players because um, it's from the past. Uh, let me see how many interceptions. Only six interceptions with a 67% passer uh, passing complete uh, completion percentage. Oh, I can't talk right now. But let's go see what uh, Mitch is doing for the uh, Chiefs. So let's head over there. Uh, Chiefs, all right. So on the Chiefs, he has 1,700 uh, passing yards, which isn't the worst, but it's definitely not the best. Uh, 146 completions through 247 attempts. Nine touchdowns on five inter uh, interceptions. Sheesh. Mitch is thinking it up over there. Although they don't have, you know what I'm saying, because it's a, you know what I'm saying, pass roster. Tyreek Hill's not, you know what I'm saying, like no 98 or nothing. So, but... But then again, nine nine touchdowns and five interceptions is really bad. And you see what Patrick Mahomes is doing for the Bears. Imagine he uh, he's still with the Chiefs or whatever. You know that that'll never happen with Patrick Mahomes. Fifty nine percent pass completion percentage, uh, average yards per game two hundred twenty two. Let me see if they just run into the ball. They decide to run into the ball since they're uh, QBs. Mitch, yeah, four hundred rushing yards. 140 carries. Yeah, I think they're a more run-heavy team now since they don't have Patrick Mahomes. Let me go look where he is throughout the whole entire NFL. So right now the number one um, halfback is Nick Chubb. And let's go see where, uh, whatchamacallit is. Okay, so CEH, he, he's, he's not all the way at the bottom, but he's not at the top. So right now... The effect on the Chiefs is actually really bad right now because as a lot of y'all know that, come on now, with Patrick Mahomes, they're obviously a playoff contender uh, through Sim. And, but now when they don't have them, look where they're at now. They're, what, 3-5. and five. Uh, QB doing bad. They're not really doing too strong on a run game like that. So, yeah, so I'm about to Sim to the playoffs and show y'all... Um, from there, show y'all the stats, records, you know what I'm saying, awards. Uh, let me go look at the awards race, uh, award race right now. Uh, wrong button. Awards. Let's look at weekly awards. So, Nick, uh, 
Josh Allen. So right now, there we don't have any uh, offensive or defensive player of the weeks right now with Patrick Mahomes on the Bears. Let me go look at the yearly awards. Uh, MVP Josh Allen. We got Patrick Mahomes right there. Sheesh, yo. They might actually win the Super Bowl. He's number two for this MVP spot. Coach of the year. Who's coach of the year? Okay, okay. Matt Nagy's all the way at five. I don't know. Maybe by the end of the season, he might get up there. If the uh, Browns lose some more games, they're seven and one. That's tough. That is tough to beat. Offensive player of the year. Okay, he's not up there for this. Oh, I know why he's not up there for this because I forgot he's in the NFC. Go look at the NFC. All right. She's just not loading. Let me try backing out right quick. She's, you might need to fix your game. All right, let me go to the NFC. I'm so used to uh, Patrick Mahomes being in the AFC because, you know, the Chiefs or whatever. But right now, he's number one in the NFC for Offensive Player of the Year. Everybody knows that Mitchell Trubisky is not doing that no time soon. Uh, we don't have anybody up there for Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie doesn't matter because that's a creative player. Is he winning best QB? Nope. Eli Manning's winning it. Best receiver, what's Allen Robinson doing? Uh, he's seven. That's not bad. I don't think he's going to win it, but seven isn't bad, really, for Allen Robinson. Uh, let's look. Is our old line up there? No, no alignment. That's defense. That doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah, I'm about to sim to the playoffs, and, yeah, so I'll see y'all there. All right, y'all, I sim to the playoffs. We're in the wild card spot playing who the uh, Super Bowl winners of this year in real life. The Philadelphia Eagles. Let me look at the bracket. Who went number one? Uh, so the Browns went number one, as I expected, because they were number one uh, through the middle of the season on the AFC side. And then for NFC, we got Seattle. And then we went number five. Oh, so Green Bay passed us. So let me go look at our record right quick. So, oh, we both went 10 and 6. So let me look at... Uh, the schedule to see if we uh if we split or they beat us twice. So, cause you, uh, as y'all seen before, we were number one through the uh, middle of the season, so they had to uh, tighten up or whatever to pass us. So let me go look at team schedule, see what happened. Okay, so Green Bay, Green Bay, Green Bay. Okay, so we lost to them the first time. And we lost to them the second time. Okay, so that's what happened. So we lost to Green Bay both times, and then we had the same record. So they took the divisional spot, but we had the same record. But 10 to 6 isn't bad. I'm just worried about, you know what I'm saying, if we make it far enough playing that Browns team. Because let me go look at their record. Uh, what they have, what they have. Oh, we don't even play the Browns. I'm tripping. I don't know why I keep... Uh, I think we're on the uh, AFC side and NFC side. Okay, so the Seahawks actually ended up with a better record than the Browns. So either way, if I go far far enough, I'm scared that uh, of the Seattle Seahawks team because they went 12 and four, and she yeah best record in the NFL. But let me see where we are in the whole entire like record wise. It's not divisional standing. So we had the. Uh, so a lot of teams actually ended up going 10 and 6. So technically we're tied for third on record in the uh, league with Patrick Mahomes. But on here they have us at, you know what I'm saying, the number seven spot. Let me go look at these stats, awards and stuff if I can. So let me go look at stats. Patrick Mahomes, come on, as y'all should know already. First in the NFL for passing yards. Third in the NFL for passing touchdowns. Jeez. That boy is making a crazy difference down in uh, Chicago. So, like I said, number one passing yards. 39 TDs on the season. She's over Brady in 2018. Uh, com uh, completion percentage, 68%. That is actually pretty, really, really good. Uh, it's not the best in the NFL because that boy, Russell Wilson. God dang, 70. But we got 68. Uh, yards per game, 300. Well, they was airing that thing out this season. Passer rating. Longest pass, 70. Time sack. Okay, so the O-line been playing uh, 
really well for Patrick Mahomes, too. He only got sacked 21 times this season, which isn't that bad. Downs play, that doesn't matter, games play. Longest pass, 70. That's ready. Okay, so, as y'all already should have expected, Patrick Mahomes went crazy during this game. Let me go look at receiving. Who has the most uh, receiving yards? That's crazy. None of uh, the Bears receiver are, I don't even think, top 10. That's tough. I guess that boy Patrick Mahomes is just spreading the ball around, giving everybody touches. First one, Anthony Miller. 1,000 yards. 11 touchdowns is not bad. Allen Robinson next. 1,000 uh, yards, 9 touchdowns. Which isn't bad, but I was expecting, you know, saying Allen Robinson or uh, uh, whatchamacallit to be higher than what they're at because uh, Patrick Mahomes is number one for passing yards. But I guess he spread it out throughout uh, all his receivers. Let me go look at rushing. I know that doesn't really matter because we focus on Patrick Mahomes right now, but we can see where we are running the ball. Oh, jeez. I see why we was passing. That one got no yards. We at. Made me go check to see if we even have a running back. All right, so Cordell Patterson is the first one I've seen. All the way down here and only 389 rushing yards. Five TDs on the season. Sheesh. Let me let me double check to see I'm not mistaken. Okay, 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 okay. I passed Tariq Cohen. Okay. Tariq Cohen, 600 yards, <laughs> which isn't that good. It's not the worst, but I throw that many times too. <laughs> Chicago, if I... My running back's only rushing for 600 yards in a season. But then again, they did split touches, so that's not the worst. But only three touchdowns. Now, that's terrible. For my number one halfback, sheesh. Longest run, only nine yards. Let me keep scrolling up, make sure I ain't pass nobody. Yeah, <laughs> Tariq Cohen, that is bad. Sheesh, I don't know if we're going to make it to the Super Bowl like that. Running the ball like that, that is terrible. Uh, anybody on defense? Let's see. Let's see. Going crazy. Let's go. Sacks. See what Khalil Mack doing. Okay. So Robert Quinn put in that work and Khalil Mack. Okay. I like 12 sacks on the season. I like those. I like those. So, yeah. What it's looking like? Patrick Mahomes behind his defense is looking real nice. I don't know about this season. I might have to make a part two to this because this. I don't want this video to be too, too long. But... Yeah, behind this defense, Patrick Mahomes is looking real good. No corners really going crazy on the interception. And, yeah, I'm not going to scroll no more. It's not that important. Uh, let's look at TFL. Uh, okay. Robert Quinn. Okay, so Robert Quinn played crazy this season. So it just looks like the, uh, the linebacker core. Is really the heart and soul of this defense right now. Hopefully, there go Khalil Mack right there. As y'all should expect from him. You know what I'm saying? He never going to sell out. But, yeah, it looks like the defense is holding up. Top tier defense. I can go look at, you know what I'm saying, what defense. Go to team stats. Where we rank on defense. Okay, offense. Sweet number two on offense, which, you know what I'm saying, Patrick Mahomes is putting in that work. Next, I'm going to check what the Chiefs. I'm going to check uh, Mitch stats and the Chiefs record and all that. I ain't forget. Uh, defense, number two defense in the NFL, number two offense. Sheesh, we might got a shot at winning this, uh, winning the Super Bowl or making it past, you know what I'm saying, a couple rounds in the playoffs. You never know. Because that, that Seahawks team, though. What defense is the Seahawks rank for them to be number one? Oh, so they offense just carried. So, actually, the way it looks, if you all the way down here for defense... You got some problems because our defense is number two. And I'm guessing y'all got the number offense. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Falcons than us. And then, so we got a better defense and offense than the uh, Seahawks. Maybe they just had a weak schedule or something. So, yeah. So we might be can beat them. I don't know what I'm so scared about. Now, let me go look at, you know what I'm saying, the uh, Chiefs stuff. And then we'll get into the uh, awards or whatever. So, first, let's look at their record. And as some of y'all know, Patrick Mahomes, he didn't, he didn't, I don't remember what their record was. I can check right quick. Let me check what their record was right quick. What was the Kansas City Chiefs record in 2018? 
Uh, they went 12 and 4 in 2018. Sheesh. So 12 and 4 to, let's see, uh, AFC West. 12. In real life, they went 12 and 4 with Patrick Mahomes to 7 and 9. Bottom of the division. That is tough. That is tough. Now, let me go look at what the impact of Mitchell Trubisky. Sheesh, the Bears made one of the worst draft decisions of all time. Go down to the Chiefs. Uh, 3,000 passing yards, 10 interceptions to 23 TDs. Uh, it don't look like he did that bad besides 10 interceptions. Let me see what we compare to everybody else what they did interception wise. Okay. So he didn't do that bad. He's just not that dominant. So to really get the job done to push him to more wins, I'm guessing. Yeah, because this isn't the worst, but this definitely is not like. It's like a below average QB stats. Only 3,000 yards. Let's go see if they just start running it. Yeah, yeah, they just decided to run the ball because CEH got 200 carries. Darrell Williams, Darryl Williams got 100 carries, well, 100 plus carries. And then Mitch got 55 carries himself. <laughs> that is tough. He has four rushing touchdowns. Sheesh. 200 rushing yards. But, yeah, so I guess they just start running the ball since they realize they don't have Patrick Mahomes. They just throw it down the field. Let's see what Tyreek Hill did. Yeah, 899 yards on the season. Yeah, come on now. That's not Tyreek Hill. Travis Kelsey, 800 yards on the season. Come on, bro. Come on. Imagine they had Patrick Mahomes. Those stats would not look like that by Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. Only five touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah, Mitch is over there stinking it up. Let me go look at look at these awards because I kind of figured that would happen. But Okay, so let's go see if Patrick Mahomes got any awards through Week 17. Okay, so he got Roquan and Patrick Mahomes won Week 16. Okay. Week 15, Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Okay, so Patrick Mahomes won. How many? One, two, three, four. Four in a row. That is tough, Patrick Mahomes. That is tough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, I guess I accidentally was looking at AFC. So he did win one uh, through the middle of the season. He won week one. But, sheesh, three, four in a row? That's how you doing it, Patrick Mahomes? Sheesh, they might actually got a shot. So let me go look at these yearly awards. Did he get the MVP? Yeah, Patrick Mahomes got MVP. So behind these Bears teams, well, if they made the right decision, they could have they could have been far by now and not stuck with Eddie Dalton at QB. Because as y'all know, they didn't release uh, Mitch. Let him walk. Patrick Mahomes, Offensive Player of the Year. Let's see, Defensive Player. Okay, they don't got nobody. Defensive Player. Best QB, Pat Mahomes. Saquon. Oh, Anthony Miller, number two for best wide receiver. He didn't win it, though. Best O-line. Nope, nobody up there for best online. So okay. Now looking at these stats, I think I think we can make it pretty far. If we lose in the first round, I'm gonna be highly disappointed. Let me go ahead and sim right quick. Oh, and there was injury. Who is this? Who is this? Okay, our strong safety was out. Okay, so we got a full team now. Let me go ahead, Sim. Boom. If we lose to the 8-8 eight and eight Eagles, bro. I know they went to the Super Bowl in real life in 2018, but if we lose, bro. Oh, next round, could we play the Falcons? Let me go look at the stats of the other game. It was a close game. It was a close game. It was a close game. Look at the box score. Sheesh. So, first of all, let me look at, okay, first quarter, up 14-7. Second quarter, no touchdown. We got ball at half. Well, I don't know if we got ball I have, but we scored in the third. And then field goal. And that's what did it. Let me go ahead and look. Let me go ahead and look. And as y'all can see, there's no double doink against the Eagles. They got their rematch. Patrick Mahomes, 300 yards in the game. Yes, sir. Two passing TDs, zero interceptions. That's what I like out of you, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, got sacked one time, longest pass, 24 yards. 23 for 33, not bad. Yeah, 
Carson Wentz had a better completion percentage. So, overall, Patrick Mahomes did Patrick Mahomes things. As y'all know, soon to be one of the best QBs ever. Let me go look at who had who had my yard. Jimmy Graham. Obviously, I know. I don't think he was on the team in 2018, was he? I don't think so. But, 78 yards. Allen Robinson, 76. Anthony Miller, 75. Them boys putting in that work. My boy Zach Ertz went for 95 on us. Uh, let's see what the defense did. Okay, Roquan. 12 tackles. I like that. I like that. I like that. It was. I don't think there was no interceptions thrown in the game. Yeah, it was zero interceptions thrown. You only had 12 tackles. Uh, one sack, Cameron Wake. So this was a pretty tough game, as y'all can see. Not too many uh, mess-ups. No interceptions. I don't think there was any fumbles or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It looked like it was just straight business. Yeah. Let's go ahead and send him to the next week. She, she, da, 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 da. <laughs> we gotta beat the Falcons. We gotta beat the Falcons. We gotta beat the Falcons. Come on. Come on, Chicago. I'm rooting for y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. And we lost against the Falcons. Oh, no, we won. We won. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> There's no way Patrick Mahomes just gets here and just does that for Chicago, bro. Okay, Matt Ryan. Less yards, better passer rating, though. Two interceptions? Patrick Mahomes, that's tough. That's tough. Now, I don't need you doing that against the Seattle team. Three pass TDs from Matt Ryan. That's expected. That's how they always play. Sack three times. Oh, that boy Patrick Mahomes was struggling this game. He had them yards, but he was struggling. Yeah, because Todd Gurley and Devonta Freeman. And we ain't even run that much neither. I don't know how we pulled that one off. Anthony Miller, 150 yards uh, receiving and then one touchdown. Okay. That boy, Anthony Miller, is playing crazy. Allen Robinson, 79 yards. It's pretty much the same as last game. None too crazy. Taylor Gabriel, 60 yards. Okay. Your boy Austin Hooper was hooping for them, uh, for them boys. Two touchdowns, 67 yards. That was pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Let's look at defense. Let's see who was doing that to Patrick Mahomes. Deion Jones, Ricardo Allen with the two interceptions. Who was hitting them? To Karras. Excuse me. Grady Jarrett. Okay, okay. So they didn't play bad, but I don't I don't understand how we won this game. By one point. That is tough. That boy Patrick Mahomes teed up in the fourth quarter. 12 to day zero. That's what it was. She the Falcons even blow leads in Madden. That's crazy. Alright, now here's here's where it matters. Here's where it matters. <laughs> Come on, Patrick Mahomes, bro. Come on, bro. Get this dub over Seattle, bro. Two injuries. Who got injured? No. Eddie Goldman. The right tackle. That's why he was getting sacked. The center. No. He's out for 20, 21 uh, games, but he's a 60, 60 overall corner. I don't think he has the spot. Anyway, that doesn't matter. But for the rest of the playoffs, okay, so he's going to be back, though. He's returning. Thank God. But our O-line is injured. No. No. For the rest of the playoffs. <laughs> for the rest of the playoffs. That is tough. All right. Sim to the next week. Come on, Chicago. Come on. Let me go look. Let me go look. We lost. I told y'all I was worried about them Seahawks, bro. I was worried about the Seahawks. Let me look how we scored. Oh, my God. They busted us in the second quarter. Oh, if that second quarter didn't happen, we had the game won. That is tough. Okay, pretty, pretty good games by uh, both QBs. That boy Patrick Mahomes went for 400 yards, but two interceptions. Two interceptions, Patrick Mahomes. There's no way. 
And that boy Anthony Miller went crazy during his playoffs. Sheesh, bro. Tariq Cohen. That is tough, bro. How did they... He had depth on pick sixes. Hold on. Let me go look at... Uh, I'm be rushing. Okay, 138 rushing yards. 141. Two touchdowns, okay. One rushing touchdown. This random dude got two touchdowns. Probably at goal line, bro. Come on, bro. And I know it was off those, uh, whatchamacallits. Interceptions. No, bro. Shaquille Griffin, Quandre Diggs, bro. How many return yards they at? Wait for that. Am I passing it? Interception. Okay, 32. And then 18. Yeah, probably gave him decent field position. I don't know where he threw the interception at. But, yeah. Oh, my God. That is tough, bro. That is a tough way to go out, bro. No sacks. I guess that O-line wasn't too much of a problem this game. Or maybe it was pressure interceptions. I don't know. Sheesh, yo. Well, all right, y'all. Like I said, oh, no. Let me see who wins the Super Bowl. I'm not going to end the video just yet. I'm going to end the video on y'all. We got that Sam. Wow. Let's see. Both Scouting number one seeds went to the week. Super Bowl. That's Use so all lame. Of your points because a portion of the remain That's points so will lame. Be lost I didn't even when look at the other side. The Bills. And then they Bills lost to them. Sheesh, the Patriots destroyed them. That's Tom Brady for you. Uh, then Baltimore versus Raiders. Baltimore went, and then New England lost to Baltimore. Nah, that's fake. That is fake. But neither one of the teams that won in real life went to the Super Bowl. It ended up being the uh, Seahawks and the Browns, which is pretty interesting. And yeah, let me go ahead and sim through the Super Bowl. Let's see who get the Super Bowl. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm so sick. I'm so sick. Who won Super Bowl MVP? Did they show you? Super Bowl MVP Nick Chubb. The Browns took the freaking Super Bowl home. <laughs> I knew it was the reason I kept saying the Browns, bro. I knew they was they was looking scary, bro. I knew it. Let me see what Nick Chubb did during the Super Bowl uh Super Bowl game. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I can't go look. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Go ahead and look at those. Let's, let's look at these stats. Okay. So they kicked a bunch of field goals. I see how they lost. Okay, Baker. Two touchdowns. Okay, so Russell Wilson sold 52 completion percentage that is not the best it's not the worst though zero interceptions Nick Chubb though 17 carries for 135 yards oh my two touchdowns longest run 64 yards he ran for 64 yards <laughs> and then after contact 57 that is tough Nick Chubb that is tough and Chris Carson couldn't get the job done I figured though, from looking where they were ranked on the offense, their offense was ranked and defense was ranked was not that high. Kareem Hunt didn't get no touches. That's tough. I guess Nick Chubb was a dog this game. Let's go look at defense. Let's look at defense. Kill Griffin. Those tackles. Bobby Wagner. So nothing crazy happened on defense. No really turnovers like that. So I'm guessing they just kept punting the ball. Bunch of wasted drives or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. So, all right, y'all. That should cap off the video uh, right there. If y'all want me to continue the series, make sure y'all like this video up. Comment down below if y'all want to see more videos like this. Uh, turn that post notification bell uh, if you want to get notified every single time I post. And part two should be out soon. Part two is going to be the next season. And I'm probably just going to do these in parts. So, I do like probably going to be like three parts to it. Because I don't want to go too far. Because obviously, it's not going to mean much. You know what I'm saying? Because Patrick Mahomes... 
eventually, you know, it's going to be back to real life time or whatever. So, yeah, so it's your boy B, and I'm out. Jumping the coop and go top speed. I can't believe that they cross me. Young nigga be shining like all.